we have Samira Didisa Raji. She's a real estate consultant and certified marketing strategist. And she's here to talk to us about creating a kitchen that reflects you. Now, you know women, we like to cook <laughs> or we like to see what's in the, like how your kitchen space is going to be or what it feels like to stand in that particular kitchen so that before they buy a house or even, you know, before they decide that, hmm, I want this. So let's speak to Samira so she can throw more light on how we can create the kitchen that reflects you. How are you? Thank you. You're welcome to Breakfast Daily Weekend. Thank you for having me. First yeah. time we've had you on the Absolutely. show. Absolutely, and I'm excited about it. Great, that. great, right. great. Let's talk, how do we create, first of all, um, what's the importance of choosing a particular kitchen? Or how, do I, how am I supposed to know that this is a kitchen for me? Okay. Um, I'll expand more from the real estate as aspect of it. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I'm in the real estate space and what I do is I find homes for my clients and also put in the strategies that helps them to have their return on investment. And one of those things is when I speak to my prospective clients and they come to the house, they usually are like, okay, let me look at the kitchen or the bedroom. If it's the man, the man will indicate that, okay, let me go speak to my wife to come and look at the <laughs> kitchen or to come and look at the space before then they get to accept that they are going to go for this house. This means that the kitchen is actually a very important space in the house and the outlook of the place, the functionality of it and the general aesthetics gives it a very, very, very good um, importance in making that decision. Mm. Wow. I mean, me, I'm more into the whole aesthetics versus I like how you put it functionality but let me just say aesthetics versus efficiency right so you have people say well for some of these particular things like anyone was saying off camera I want to do them outside aesthetics or efficiency which one should be priority well all of it <laughs> because the efficiency yeah functionality actually mm. contributes to the taste of your food. <laughs> Let me explain why. Wow, wow. If you have a very functional kitchen mm -hmm. where you have all the equipment mm -hmm. that can make you either blend, grind, see what you're doing, that's lighting, mm. it helps for you to deliver properly in terms of the food you mm. have. Mm. Traditionally, we have very dark kitchens <laughs> or a kitchen where you probably have your blender set somewhere else, your microwave somewhere else. Yeah. You're unable to use the cooking time to be able to deliver. True. So when you have all of these things in place, mm. you're able to deliver your food properly. Mm. Mm. And as you know, all stomachs in the house, both family and friends are fed from mm. the kitchen. Mm. Mm. Wow. What should I consider when I'm, you know, when I see a kitchen? What, what should be the things that I should look out for? Right. First of all, size, space, mm -hmm. because then it depends on how busy you are going to be in the room. And two, you are looking at your countertops. Are you trying to consider marble tops or ceramic tops? Traditionally, a lot of people consider wooden and concrete. Mm -hmm. Over the period, the wealth mm -hmm. it, and also, you know, the value of your kitchen adds on to the value of your house. So if you have a very good kitchen and probably in the near future you are looking to sell your house, it adds on to the resale value of your house. So then you should look at the space, you should look at the color, you should look at the arrangement and functionality of the entire space. Right, right. I, I still just, I'm not even trying to be difficult, I, just, I still just want to push on this whole aesthetics versus efficiency thing. Because, interesting, you talk about the space, right? And I you mentioned that the, the space and the look of it can contribute to the taste of the food. Absolutely. I just want you to touch on that briefly, then I'll come with my follow-up question. Okay. How, how does that even happen in the first place? For example, you want to prepare mashed potato. Mm. You need a grinder mm. or probably a blender. Mm. You need a particular way. Mm. So right now, if you have a kitchen that has the various functions positioned at the right places, yeah. where you can plug in, mm. where you can assess mm. how it feels. I mean, you, let's say a corporate person like mm. me, I would want to go home and be able to prepare mashed potato. Yeah. I'm not now going to look for where my <laughs> grinding <laughs> pot is and all of that. Yeah. The fact that it's properly arranged mm -hmm. or I can reach it 
makes it easier. Mm -hmm. For the purposes of this discussion, there are three types of kitchen that I want to emphasize on. Let's say the open plant kitchen, the closed kitchen, and then the outdoor kitchen. Mm -hmm. You know, before we came on board, she was talking about the fact that in family, they cook outside. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, we would have all the fufu and everything out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't speak to our current mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. You're probably looking to go into probably an open kitchen mm -hmm. where it connects the kitchen to the mm -hmm. living area, mm -hmm. where you can actually be having a conversation while you cook. Mm -hmm. You are probably hosting your friends. They mm -hmm. sit around the island. Mm -hmm. You could serve them there all this speaks to your lifestyle true unlike probably the traditional kitchen where you go in there you're in your cloth you're in your shorts you're going there you're sitting on the stool mm. you're grinding you cannot necessarily host mm. your friends I feel in there interesting yeah this whole, this, whole, this, this whole new craze about loft apartments right so where like you the, the difference or the space separating the kitchen and the sitting area is like some long center cute table and all of that yeah, i'll talk to you i want it's you to talk island. to us because because <laughs> then charlie are frying fish then the, the whole house away so how to manage that but even before that there's this whole thing about the feel of the kitchen right you go into some kitchens and the whole place is tiled. i don't know what's with um, landlords and, and 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 so talk to us about the dangers of that then maybe you can see go into creating the kitchen space, the, the perfect or the ultimate kitchen space. Okay, I'll touch on your first point, mm. where you have a loft mm. and you have your kitchen in your face. That's mm. the open plan kitchen. Mm. Ideally, you would want to have either a pantry or a wet kitchen mm. where you'll be able to fry your fish, mm. pound your nuts mm. and all of that, and mm. then come over to the open kitchen and do the rest of whatever you the want soft to ones. do. The soft ones. There. Mm. So as then you don't put all the aroma <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, and then in terms of the aesthetics yeah. where there are brown towels green towels yellow towels i mean that's why you need to have or speak to experts to enable you have a modern feel of your kitchen mm. so that then you could feel very comfortable in that space mm. and of course your kitchen needs to be set up in the way that you need to minimize certain risks mm. for example let's say that you have your cylinder right there in your kitchen mm. it's absolutely dangerous you mm. need to be able to have it connected to the external places, somewhere outside. outside, absolutely, outside your kitchen. So as then, just in case of any emergencies, it takes a longer time before no, then. To the, the, if, you stay, if you stay in the places where I stay, can you share to the, the, Charlie, the, the, the area boys, they can, they can be so away. <laughs> Definitely, it's, it's, you can have a cage around it. Cage. Wow, but interesting. I, I know that, um, like, depending on the type of kitchen you have, mostly, you know, uh, you can spend most of your time there as a family. Families bond in beautiful kitchens. Uh, well, no, it doesn't necessarily have to be beautiful, but if your kitchen... It must be beautiful. It must be. Actually, <laughs> no, so on the, on the aesthetics and the efficiency thing, I, 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 to push you, which one should come first? Both. <laughs> I, I mean, functionality. Like, functionality, fair. But aesthetics is a close second. Yes. Wow, interesting. Putting in your functionality, you end up putting in a very nice layout that then results. Oh, some people will say, I just want to be able to bend and Charlie do my potoyoa. So it would affect the food you cook. <laughs> 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 but even when people have these, um, you know, modern nice kitchens, they still yeah. have their potoyoa somewhere. Because honestly, the potoyoa taste, it can't. Yeah, but tradition. I mean, the other point is that if you are, if you are dwelling so much or a lot on the aesthetics, you can't do the abewedro. How do you, you say it? You Charlie, can. You in a loft can. apartment. You, well, <laughs> there are food processes now which can take. Yeah, but the food that. processes, no, it doesn't taste the same. Um, Samira, you are with me. It depends on what you're cooking. <laughs> fair game, fair game. Wow, interesting. So maybe you can talk to us about the lightning in the room, and later also about the non-negotiables. So, for example, what should a kitchen have? Is it okay to have just a fridge and a microwave? I've seen some have like Charlie have baking things and all of that, right? Yeah, so if you like to bake. maybe you can talk to us about non-negotiables or what you should have in a kitchen. But before that, how bright should our kitchen be? Very bright. You need to see everything in the kitchen. Mm. You need to see what you are putting in your food. You mm. do not want to make a mistake because this is going into your tummy. Mm. And then in relation to the functionality, is that what you asked mm. earlier? Um, it's Things like microwave, 
fridge, burner, extractors, make up the kitchen. Mm. Because then it depends on what you are cooking. Mm. You don't want your smoke everywhere. So mm. the extractor will help you take that smoke out, out of the place. Um, in terms of fridge and deep freezers, it primarily depends on you because mm. then there are various home types that have different spaces that mm. could allow you to put your fridge either in the kitchen or out of the kitchen. But the non-negotiables would probably be the electrical fittings mm. and then the lightning mm. because then you would want to be plugging something, mm. taking something, having shelves to be mm. able to keep something. You don't mm. want to have a cluttered kitchen. Mm. And besides, you are talking about your lifestyle. Mm. You may want to get people coming into your kitchen. It mm. could either be your partner, your friend, and anything. They need to get in to be able to have a very good feel whilst you are there. Is the picture on our screen an ideal kitchen for you? Well, we talked about the loft. Why not? After <laughs> <laughs> wow. should, should, should our kitchens reflect our lifestyle? Yes, it should. It should. Yes, it should. It should. But how, how, it the, should. Then the question would then be, how can your kitchen reflect your lifestyle? Well, I don't want to have a very cluttered kitchen. Yeah. I'll not have a kitchen with all my pots mm. everywhere. I'd rather have a pantry mm. to probably put the pots away and have the space to be able to delve into my food and then do the needful. <laughs> Besides, the reason why you're in the kitchen is to do what? Cook. Mm. Absolutely. So you need to be able to be that comfortable to do that. I, I've been seeing recently, like, um, like anytime someone is showing mm. off a kitchen or something, they'll be like, uh, so there are certain things that they're adding now, um, what do they call them? Pot fillers over your stove, so that right. instead of carrying a heavy pot from the sink to the stove, they have a pot filler, so you just open it there. and then it fills up your pot with the water that you need for whatever you <laughs> intend to do with it i mean don't kitchens you like have that? evolved i tell you don't you like that i love it i can't wait <laughs> wow 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 wow, wow. my wait. only concern is that for a lot of the kinds of homes right so for example if you are renting a space it doesn't give you the luxury of creating your own so for people like that how do how are they able to maximize creating their lifestyle, which now you are now telling us your kitchen could reflect and managing it really so it's, it's optimal for you, the, 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 the end user. Absolutely. Okay. So hence, you could have the option of buying. Mm. When you are buying a house, mm. you definitely would want to look at the kitchen Before. and see whether the space works. In terms of putting it together, it can be customized. Mm. So if the space works, that's all right. Mm. But in terms of rental, you have less to do. Mm. So when you look at the options of your properties that you want to choose out of it, mm. kitchen is one of the spaces you have to go see. Mm. If every other thing works, but the kitchen probably doesn't, that's where you need to be able to position things in your kitchen properly to mm. get the space to mm. be able to do that. Mm. But for rental properties, Some way. it will be a Some bit way. difficult. <laughs> Sarah, my, my final question. Right. There's also this practice about people keeping washing machines in your kitchen right i don't know if you've come across absolutely. it absolutely is that ideal it works it depends on the size of your kitchen how functional your kitchen is some kitchens are as big as the entire space we have here mm. others are one tenth of the space we have here yeah. so if you have a very huge kitchen mm. and you're able to have your washing machine in there why not well i'm, I'm, I'm just i'm not too sure about having laundry in your kitchen, right? Because food, not wow. necessarily dirty clothes. So I'm yeah. like, it, it, it was a cultural shock for me the first time I saw it. But I realized that for a lot of these new spaces coming up, it was mm -hmm. more and more common. So yeah. maybe I'll... I'll, I'll, it's, it's, I'll it's a lifestyle. It's a You'll lifestyle. You'll probably be wanting to put just in a white T-shirt. Yeah, because like you travel outside and... <laughs> yeah. You see... In the UK, yeah, it's you common see, you because see, they don't see. have space. So you have you to make put it, it work. Some way. I tell you, I'll you have it. to make it work. Wow. And how further we should, if you are building, how further we should your washrooms be from your kitchen? Well, that so with it depends on the hygienic positioning mm. of your washroom. Mm. Sometimes your pot will probably be extremely far in, mm. and just the door and access to the kitchen may not necessarily mm. cause a challenge. Mm. But then, if you are limited on space, mm. then you have your Ports very close to the entrance. A very good architect who definitely know how to draw up the Navigate plan to be able you. to wow. position it. Wow. So there are properties that have kitchens close to their washrooms mm. and others have it 
a better way. Wow, All interesting. Right. And of course, Charlie, some of the condos I saw in Canada, he was like, Charlie, it's how do you have your washroom here? And it's limitation the next, of space. The next place that I entered, Charlie, they're yeah. entering the fridge. And I'm like, no, so wait. Anyway, Samira, it was so fun having you. Maybe we should do this again. Absolutely. We, we, we have to do a proper, because there are like, there are people who live in family houses, there are people who have shared kitchens. Absolutely. Yeah, you go to campuses, Legon, for example, the kitchen is a shared space. So how do you navigate that? All of that, there are a lot of more we could have touched on. So right. we'll probably have you again Very well. so we can delve into all of those issues. But thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me as Samira well. Dedesa Raji. Yes, please. A real estate consultant. I mean, and thank you so much. marketing strategy. She did so much. She, she did. Thank she you. did from brutal actually. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> all right, so guys, that's all time will allow us for this part of the discussion.